So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to wind a bobbin. And you um, will see these towers. These are called cone thread holders. And these go behind the machine and they have to stay pretty close to the machine. Um, these are the bobbin pins that aren't bobbins, they're thread pins. Um, so they, it needs to be in the same location. And this is a cone thread here. So I'm going to put this on and make sure that this is all the thread is always on the hook. If it's not on this hook right here, then it causes tension and it could cause your thread to break. So to wind a bobbin, you have a little silver knob here. So what you're going to do is wrap the thread and you'll hear it click in there. So let me show you again. You're gonna go here, you can hear the click, and wrap it this way. Then you're gonna get a bobbin that looks like this. And when you feed the thread through, you're gonna go like, let's make sure you can see it go up through the hole here. So you can see where the hole it came out of there. Then you're gonna put this on this little silver peg here. And then you have to push that in or towards this little stopper here. Turn the power on. And then you have to hold, hold this little tail, I call it the little tail, hold it up high and you just keep holding it. And you start off slowly just to make sure that it's winding around that bobbin. Once it starts winding around the bobbin, you can go a little bit faster. And I want you to always keep your eye on the thread to make sure that it's still winding around the bobbin. This little tail right here is going to eventually break off, and that's okay. And just wind the bobbin. You can wind it until it stops. So now it's stopped. So you're gonna push this this way and then take it off of the little pin there. And there's a thread cutter here on the side. Let's see if I can get you so you can see it. There's a thread cutter right here. So you can just take this and put that like that and it cuts the thread off. And that's how you wind a bobbin. Now, to put the bobbin in the bobbin case, then what you're gonna do is make the letter P. So you can see, and it, the tail's hanging down. So if I was looking at this, it looks like the, a little P. Um, so I'm going to have the arm of the bobbin, whole, bobbin case up in the air, the letter P, and it goes in like so. Then you're gonna turn the arm so it's this way then there's a little tiny little cutout here on the side of the bobbin. You have to put the thread through that little cutout and then slide it underneath that band and then in between, I call those the teeth, in between the two teeth there. So that's how you, um, you get the bobbin ready. So now the arm goes back up in the air. I call this the little door so I'm opening the little door and I'm holding the little door. Then you're gonna go down, let's see, into the little door down here and you're gonna put that bobbin case in and it should snap in. And what you'll need to do is like wiggle it back and forth. If it's still spinning, then you need to take it out and, and um, readjust the handle over here on the side, make sure the take up lever is up and make sure that that's not spinning. If it's spinning, then you need to uh, take it out and put it back in there. And that's how you wind a bobbin and put it into the case. 